what's up guys, you boy Omar SMS and I'm back with another Apex Legends video. So on this video it's me explaining how to start season 7 and get the best KD from the start. So of course season 7 did not start yet, but this will actually help you to get ready for season 7 and to know how to actually start the season 7 like pretty well and do not like do mistakes at the start so you don't get frustrated or whatever. So before I start this video guys, if you need this channel did not subscribe and hit that sub button, we need to hit that 4 K subs guys at the season 7 so let's just try to hit this 4k subs guys and of course uh, before this video we received a lot of dislikes uh, on the settings video but all the dislikes were removed by YouTube because there was a hater so many haters are doing like multiple accounts to do dislikes which uh, got them like uh, removed so yeah we got this all out of the way now let me let me go through this video guys and before of course start the video guys there is a discord server in the description down below or in the comments down below if you know if you want to join the sms army and be a part of us and of course you can actually like uh, get contact with me and all that so let me go through the video right i don't want to do all of talking so how to start the first thing to do when you need to start in seven uh first of all guys study the rotation all right that's the first thing you guys need to do uh, when you drop, there's a like a glad. We also we all are glad gladly. There's a map route like there's a mod, the uh, LTM mod first at the start that you can actually do, which you will drop from the ship without any weapon. You will have only your hands to <laughs> punch. Uh, you can actually do that benefit. Do not go waste. Do not waste your time on this mod. Do not just go and punch people. What you have to do, guys, just go. Uh, around the map and study the location just look where everyone is dropping uh, you know like just look where every like all the locations just look around the map and just know how you can actually rotate and everything like that so yeah this is the first thing to do and gladly we have this mod this mod that is coming to April Legends in season 7 at the start so this is a big benefit for us you can do this at the start Study the map rotation, study the map, know where to jump so you don't mix the jumps uh, later. Uh, the second thing to do guys, make sure that you have already like you have already settled your settings and everything. Because some people drop in scene 7 and they're like, let me try new settings or let me change my settings or they're still nervous about the settings. Do not be like that, alright guys? You have... Oh my god, the chicken, alright. Do you have 3 days guys, you have 3 days, in these 3 days, you make sure that you are settled up with the settings and do not change it trust me even if it's only three days these three days will make you like will make you more comfortable when you are like used to one settings and not changing it this is the second tip because this will actually affect your uh, mentality so i don't know what's called but yeah it will aff affect your mentality and like thinking a lot i don't know what's wrong with this chicken anyway uh, you will be like overthinking a lot about it about this you know like if you do not overthink about it just that's all what I need you to do now let me go with the third thing what to do of course you guys need to drop the KD high KD but before that you should know these steps that I told you about wait all right we just close the window so that the chicken so now let me go straight and tell you the third thing that you guys need to do after doing that of course make sure that you've done this before now for the third thing Alright, choose your main. Now, a lot of people be like, okay, I play with all, with many legends, and that's cool, I don't mind it, that's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool, but choosing your main actually can also give you a lot of benefit, because being in a main, one main that you actually think that is really good, make sure that this main is also solo, if you play solo, of course, I'm not talking about the team, if you, do, you want to play in team, you can choose whatever you want, but if you play solo, and there's, there should be one main that you should think about or like two mains all right two two legends or one legend to make sure that these legends are yours because the reason why you need to do this is because you need to actually uh focus on how to play the like the strategy with the legend you have to like think uh, on how to play with the legend all right so for example i'm playing with wave uh, as a main wave i know when to portal out i know when uh to do phase like you know i know i know this stuff but there's some people that also know this stuff too, I'm not saying that they don't. But when they play with Wraith, they don't portal at, say, like, at the, the time that is needed for them. And that's why uh, you should pick a main and know how to play. Of course, for like Bangalore main that has like 40,000 kills, no more than player that has like 500 kills. Not 
as a player know like maybe the, the guy with the 500 kills is better maybe he has higher kd and maybe he land more his shots and all of that and better iq but the Bangalore player know how to play Bangalore better, not play the game better. That's the difference, guys. When you play a legend better, that will make a huge difference of your game style and, of course, uh, as a solo and all that. And will get, of course, higher KD because you will win more fights. So now, let me go with the fourth thing. Uh, after picking the legend all that, now the fourth thing you guys need to do is... Alright, guys, the fourth thing you guys need to do is... Do not jump into heat zones at the start of the season i know a lot of people will be like jumping the heat zones including me like i like jumping the heat zones but i will not do it at the start you know i will do it in the middle of the season the reason why i want to do that is to get my kd higher and everything higher of course do not jump at the end of the match and neither do not jump at the uh, heat zones you have to jump in middle yeah, like a place where you can find a little bit of food and of course find then the people like next to the heat zone for example right like you see here everyone dropping you let me drop there next to them like really not not the far of the map when you guys drop at the far far of the map this will actually not help your kitty this will actually ruin it because you will not your, your hands even and your everything your mind will not actually uh, think about the like the kills and all that. You're not gonna be like more uh, what what is it called hyped, you know, or warmed up. So you'll feel like really slower, and this will actually affect a lot of your gameplay. And of course, less kills is less KD also. Even though if you have two kills to, uh, win, two kills win, you will have the match where you're gonna die. Of course, so this will actually not get you KD higher. So what is recommended is you drop next to the hit zones and go to the hit zone and try to get as many kills as you want. Now. The last thing I want to to speak about, guys, these are the most important things. Now, the last thing I want you guys to know, uh, when you drop, like, not the last thing, I mean, before the last thing. When you drop, guys, in a game, alright, I need you to think about that. Think that you don't want to die. Do not think that ab about 20 bombs and high damage and high kills, of course, you're gonna get this if you think about not dying. And what I mean by that is, when you drop and you don't have... For you have, for example, white armor, or you don't have a white armor, alright? You don't have a white armor, you have a great weapon, you have everything, and then you see an enemy, alright? Do not risk it, unless you're behind him. Like, for example, you see, like, enemy standing in front of you, and he's looking at you. Do not risk it, do not pick the fight. You have to make sure that you have the loot that you wanted. Of course, you guys get hyped sometimes, and you want to go into the fight already, but this will actually ruin a lot of your KD and, like, everything. You guys need to drop and think that we don't need to die. This is when you die, you're gonna leave the match. That's it. You don't need to die, guys. So whatever happens, guys, you break your shit, you do not risk it. Do not make huge risks, all right? You can watch Golden Boy. I think Golden Boy is the only player on Apex that actually play without risks. So I think this guy is actually the best player for me. Even though, like, Lyric is the best, of course, but I mean, like, overall, the Lyric is the best. But speaking about player with has that has really high high IQ, I go to boy is one of the best right now. And yeah, like that's what you guys want to do. Now the last thing, lastly guys, what you need to do is but now lastly what you guys need to do is now this is, is not this not is this one, this part is not really like you you should do it, but you can do it. If you can do it then do it. Is play in a team. Of course, I recommend always playing solo. That's not a problem. Playing solo, playing in a team at the start with a really good team, uh, it actually can give you a lot of benefit, of course, with the KD and all that. Of course, if these, if these guys understand how to play the game, not playing with randoms, then, you know, this will actually ruin it. But playing also solo, like, there's two benefits from both. If you are really want to play solo and you're actually thinking, say, doing the same things I told you about, about the risks and all that, and trying as as uh, much as you can of course in duos do not uh, pick uh, duos if you're solo then you can actually do a pretty good job but if you have a team which is really good team like really really good team like the same as level as you at least uh this will actually help you a lot also but of course do not mean the team the whole time the whole season this is i'm speaking about the start of the season because you want to get the higher kd and higher damage as possible you can also tell your friends uh, to let the downed enemy, uh, you, to let you finish the downed enemies, uh, make sure to finish the downed enemies, of course, this is like a tip for one of them, uh, because uh, finishing the downed enemies will increase your damage, and this will actually increase your average damage, and yeah, that's, that's all I can say, guys, these are the best things to get your stats higher in Season 7, to start the better in Season 7.
I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and that was it for today. I'm not gonna drop a lot of gameplays today. I'm just dropping clips after clips if you just so you can enjoy them. Uh, because I'm not gonna play season uh, six anymore till season seven drops because I'm really bored of the game. Alright guys, hope you enjoy. Peace.